Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy G Wiz coming to you from China. I'm going to take you out for a little walk and、uh, take the elevator here. I always fist bump the buttons here. That's a habit I got into,、uh, even in New York, way before this whole situation in China. I never push buttons with my fingers. I kind of knuckle punch them. I always thought it was a good habit to get into, regardless of the conditions. So you see some of the precautions that my building has taken here. All of the buttons are covered in. Wrapping,、uh, plastic wrapping, to keep everything sanitary and avoid spreading germs. And I think this is becoming customary with many residential buildings in China now. And if you're in China and your building isn't doing the same thing, maybe you better ask your、uh, property manager <laughs> why they're not doing that. All right, so I'm、uh, heading out. I'm taking you on a walk, and I'm approaching my gate here, where、uh, you'll see my security people and、uh, the property manager, and they screen everybody now. You know,、uh, regardless if you're leaving or entering the building, they will take your temperature now and make sure that you're not showing any symptoms or you know、uh, fever.、Um, so everybody's being very careful now, and、uh, you know. Yeah, so I'm I'm good, so I can leave.、Uh, hopefully, I don't get a fever on the way back. Okay, so what's happening here is I'm、uh, actually overdubbing my、uh, vocal here as I record this video because, as you know, I can't talk while I'm wearing my mask. I, I've seen many YouTubers who are wearing. The official masks—they have the N95 masks—and the whole point of wearing those masks is it's supposed to create a seal to your face. And they say、uh, if you find it difficult to breathe with those masks on, then you have it on right. But I see people making videos and they're talking, and you know I, I I don't know how they're doing it. So obviously they're not wearing it right. I don't have the N95 mask. They're very hard to find. People are hoarding them. I understand there are a lot of fake ones out there. This being China,、uh, if、uh, somebody can make a fake version of something, they will do it and they will sell you the fake mask. Unfortunately, so I'm using the masks、uh, that I've had. Um, that I never used, and I'm actually wearing two masks at the same time. It's better than nothing, so you know that's what I got. And、uh, yeah, the main point is just to you know avoid close contact with people, and that's not a problem here.、Um, even before this whole、uh, outbreak situation here,、um, this area had already taken a hit. A lot, you'll see a lot of buildings that are closed here. And some are closed because of the、uh, the holiday, but、uh, some were already closed because、uh, you know they're taking an economic hit here, and、uh, they they were even closed before all of this happened. That's my、uh, that's my old school. That's where I used to work. I taught English there at Web Web International, and、um, you know that's the company that brought me here to China.、Uh, not this particular one in、uh, Taitang, but、uh, I started. Working in China at a web in Tianjin, so、uh, they're actually open. I checked it out and I looked at the door, and、uh, you know I didn't go inside, but it looks like they are, they are open and、uh, you know maybe signing up classes. Okay, so here's Walmart. So you'll see a lot of YouTube videos with people going through、uh, you know supermarkets and shopping and everything just to show you. You know things aren't as bad as、uh, you know it's made out to seem. You know, I mean, you can go in, you can get food at least in this area. And remember, all of China is not Wuhan. So, like at this particular Walmart, I walk in, and again they check your temperature. You know, they are not playing. They're making sure that、uh, you are fine. Even though we all know that with this coronavirus thing. Uh, you can be carrying the virus and not be showing any symptoms, but they're checking anyway. So anyway, yeah.、Um, so this is the Walmart, the local Walmart in the area, and people are out shopping, and they are well stocked, as you see. You know, definitely won't starve here. Lots of fruit, and the prices are good, and you know, everybody's just stocking up and going about their days. This is dragon fruit. I actually did not know what this was before I came to China. But you go to Chinatown in New York, and it's there, you know. So now I know what it is: dragon fruit.
but yeah, as I was saying, you know, the whole hysteria that's coming out of uh, this whole coronavirus uh, epidemic is really kind of, it's crazy. I mean, I mean, it is a bad situation. It is very serious, but the hysteria, man, the mass hysteria that's going on over this, you know, especially, you know, from people who are not here is really off the charts, man. You know, I mean, I'm getting messages and I'm, I know you all mean well, but man, you know, people are get out of there. You're going to die. You need to wear a hazmat suit. Oh, man. Come on, man. Come back home. First of all, there's no place for me to go back to. Right? If I go back, if I leave China, where am I going to go? Okay, and I'm definitely, you know, even if I did have a coronavirus, which I don't, my area is not affected by it. I mean, you know, why would I, you know, even take a chance of spreading it? You know, here you are, you see more uh, closed shops. These shops were, were open a few days ago, but since they extended the uh, Chinese New Year holiday, I guess they closed back up again, so... Uh, you know, I think the real test will be next week, and we'll see what happens with a lot of these shops. So this is heading outside of the Walmart here, going outside, going upstairs. But yeah, you can't run, you can't run away from this, this thing, man. You know, it's, it's spreading, and uh, you know, uh, two cases in New York already. I heard Bellevue had a, had a case. I think it was confirmed. Boston, I believe, also had another uh, situation. And the West Coast. It is interesting to look at the map and Africa has not been seriously affected. So I don't know what that means because there are a lot of Chinese people in Africa. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. But yeah, what it really means is uh, a lot of people in Africa have not been to or had contact with anyone from Wuhan or the Hubei province. Here's another place I sometimes eat. You know, it's kind of a square and uh, you have all these various shops. It's not like one of the wet markets that you hear about in Wuhan. This is, this is legit, it's clean. You know, you don't see any uh, live animals being killed or anything like that. You don't see any bats. People don't eat bats here. There's no dog. That's another common remark that you get. Oh, people eating dogs there. No, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, you know, this is an area where people will usually sit outside and, and eat noodles and rice and all sorts of things. And it's good. Good food. Very cheap. Here's the KFC out here. And, um... You know, it is open, you can order from it, but they no longer allow people to, to sit down. It's a restaurant, but you can't actually eat inside it. Uh, so they took all the chairs out and all the tables, and there's the Pizza Hut, same thing. You can go inside there, you can order the food, but take out only. But they are open. Okay, I also heard a lot about um, Starbucks being closed in various parts of China and there's a Starbucks here and I'm going to take a look inside it to see if it's open it doesn't look like it's open but it actually is open and people are going in and there you go you see customers coming out Okay, but it is empty. Not a lot of stuff here at this Starbucks. So since I'm here, I'll get a hot chocolate. And again, I can't talk with the mask on, so it's really hard to make an order. All the tables are set aside, you know, so nobody can sit there and, you know, people used to eat and just chill out in the Starbucks, just like back home, but you can't do that now. All right, so here we are. We're back at my uh, residential complex here, and they're still screening people, and 
you know, here's a case where I don't know what what happened, what the situation is, but they won't let this this car in. They won't let them enter. And you know, that's the front gate. So normally, uh, you know, people would come in and uh, you know they'd open the gate and let them park in, you know, bring a friend or whatever. So this girl, she must live at the building and whoever's driving, maybe that's her boyfriend or something, they won't let them in or they won't let them take the car in. Or maybe he didn't pass the temperature check. Who knows? Or maybe they're not wearing a mask. Who knows? But, but they're being very strict now. Also, no more door-to-door -door de deliveries. You know, so if you have, if you order something, if you order something from uh, Pizza Hut or McDonald's or something, they'll leave it at the gate now, so you have to go out and get it. Oh, but one more time, there you go. Another temperature check. So, <laughs> so they are not playing here, you know. They just saw me 20 minutes ago, but hey. You might have caught a fever at the Walmart, who knows. Anyway, but that's what's happening here. It's all good, man. You know, people are telling me, oh, get out of there, but I'm not getting in any airplanes and with 300 Jeremy people or airports with 1,000 Jeremy people and even take a chance. I'm cool right here. That's it for me. I'm G Wiz. Like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like this update, I'll give you some more. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Peace.